Hey, welcome back everyone. Uh, got an interesting case today. Thought I'd show you something here. This is kind of cool. A little uh, vacuum tester for testing PCV systems. So I uh, got this 2000 Chevy, uh, the one ton with the 7.4, the 454 motor out here. Customer brought it in with, uh, well, wanted a tune-up, and uh, it took like a month-long estimate process, and uh, before he finally brought the vehicle in, and just wanted me to change plugs and wires, which I did, and and he had said, don't worry about the check engine light and all that stuff. But then you do a, a tune-up, and you kind of feel bad that it's misfiring. So uh, just curious what's going on. And I checked a couple things. One of the things, uh, this does have a common lower intake manifold gasket failure that causes a, a vacuum leak. Uh, so uh, it had a misfire on number four over here. And uh, I thought, okay, let's check. So basically just removing the oil cap and use my little thing here. Uh, orient it properly. You can see it, it, uh, it actually doesn't have the best. Let's see if we can zoom in here. doesn't have the best PCB vacuum. Um, it's not completely open. This ball moves a little bit. Um, but then, if we remove the PCB valve, the ball drops there, but uh, it actually moves when we clog off the PCB port. It moves slightly. So there is a little bit of vacuum that's getting into the crankcase. But I don't think that's causing the misfire. I also noticed very strong fuel smell in the intake when I had the air cleaner uh, off the throttle body. And uh, I'm sure this has a common fuel injectors leak under the plenum here, the uh, regulator leak. But that's not even the issue. I'll show you what, what else I checked. So you got to promise not to laugh at the exhaust system here. But uh, here it is. So they've got this glass tax right off the cat. It's pretty bad. They're just flopping around. Anyway, uh, kind of cool because it's dueled off here. But if you take it like a dollar bill, and here's a rag, look at that, it's sucking it into the exhaust. Look at that. Not the case here. So anyway, of course, uh, the vacuum present in the exhaust system by sucking this rag back in there is an indicator that uh, we have a, uh, a valve sealing issue, most likely a broken valve spring in the number four exhaust valve on that side, um, which we're going to have to pull that valve cover to confirm that. And uh, I'm going to work up some estimates first. I, I got into this thing. They, they wanted all these services done and I started doing some services and after the tune-up and checking a few things uh, it's becoming apparent that this truck is uh, a real lemon to say the least so I'm not even sure if it's worth fixing so I thought I'd make this video now in case I don't even get a chance to pop the valve cover and show you a broken spring which is most likely but my guess is this thing has a broken spring a blown lower intake gasket probably at least one or two leaky injectors and a fuel pressure regulator uh, from that smell of fuel inside there. I also did a fuel pressure leak down test, pressurize the fuel system, pinch off the pressure and return side, 
and watch that pressure and it dropped pretty rapidly so we know fuel is is entering the, the intake as well so anyway we'll see i mean i jacked it up the front end's falling apart wheels just about fell off when i raised it up of course that exhaust system the cat's loose inside there uh it needs a whole exhaust system and uh that's just for starters this thing's a lemon so uh, they just bought it paid a lot of money for it so we uh, another good reason to have your vehicle checked out but anyway hopefully i'll get in there and uh, show you the actual broken spring and the quick fix if not appreciate you watching hope this video is helpful i'll catch you next time